Well, how are you? Hello, Daniel. I don't believe it. What don't you believe? <laughs> how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> you. You have a she light in the exact same spot that the she light that I fell in love with. It, no, it wasn't really right there. It, it was, was exactly really right, right there. there. No. You're wow. joking. No, I'm not joking. It was right there. It's and a little wow. smaller, but that one's well, superb. Yes, definitely yeah. superb. And there's even... That's amazing remember. that you remember that. That's Oh, it, that was honestly one of the biggest milestones in my collecting, collecting career. life. I mean, there was a big, big jump there in my collection. Mm -hmm. I remember that whole transaction. <laughs> but I didn't remember it was right there. It was right there. <laughs> That's right. Because I came right in the door and it was... Boom. Boom. I just gravitated towards That's it. That's so cool. And the fact that there's pyromorphite here, which the trimmings of which actually ended up paying for the she light that I bought from you. So you gave me the trimmings that paid, paid for the for this specimen, specimen that I bought from you. There you go. It all worked out. It all very yeah. well. That's cool. And here we are uh, a few years later. <laughs> a couple. One, yeah. two, yeah, three, four, like ten. That. I don't know. Well, she was 11 at the time, so oh my God, figure out how many it is. Out. I won't. We'll yeah, that. let's leave it. It, it. it makes us much older. But one thing I can say, the gallery is still absolutely amazing. Thank you. Like, just, we the try. presentation is impressive. Yeah. Really impressive. These are just, you know, we always look for things that fit this certain sort of aesthetic in this size. And this is probably, I say it every year, it's one of our most popular cases, this case and the next one. Mm -hmm. It's just... Because they're just these little cuties that everybody loves. They're absolutely aesthetic. Like I, I, and, and I love that. And it's, you know, it's, it's it, just so much fun. Exactly. Or, you know, this piece, right? I mean, just the setup, the adorable little calcite perched on top in the metallic. It's great. I love this fluoride over here with the oh. dark purple border. That entire style is just great. Mm. And having it on that pyramid like that. What's yeah. your favorite? Well, yeah, I'm an orgeologist, so I, that stanite on Mornonite is, uh, That's a fun is pretty sweet. Yeah. And the Aogang Shang. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, Dao Chang. Dao Chang fluorite. I mean, that's just the way it's set up with the big cube and the smaller cubes coming off the side really cute. yeah those were fun those were coming yeah. out when we were all in china like, yeah yeah, yeah. We I, I, i'd seen some and was like oh those are really cool and then i saw Where are the good ones and went, and went, now we know okay now we know <laughs> <laughs> oh. so what about this next case i don't know dad i i think i like this oh one that yeah i, I yeah, would i, I would i would my that, yeah that's, i would go for that one too that i think yeah. is the best for sure. And that tourmaline, what's the story with that thing up there? With Isn't the, that crazy? With the zoning? It's and got just an awesome color. color. It's a very unique color. It almost has like a colorless zone yeah. around the, the color zone. So it's where I guess the trace elements that give it the coloring sort of were no longer available. It, it is and hot. It it, became it, it's hard, to, it's hard <laughs> to see how, you, how it grew that way. Mm -hmm. And I love this little guy. He's, He's been in there once or twice, but you know, just such an oddball for fluorite. Oh, I didn't from even Romania. realize that was Romanian. I really like the contrast and the color mm. and the texture luster. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. really, it's fun. That's a fun one. It's sort of a deer trail color on a spherical fluorite. It's sort of an is, inverse. Mm -hmm. somewhere. Mm -hmm. And over here we have some of our larger pieces. This is great. This is, for me, that's the best that, one of those uh, I've seen. Uh, <laughs> I've seen a million of these things. Most of them don't do a whole lot for me. Mm -hmm. That one, you go. I'm gonna get That's... a flashlight because you need to see this. It just has a brightness. Yeah, the, the luster is the spectacular. The luster is wonderful. The luster is insane. Mm -hmm. And the balls are pretty large. Well, it's also really cool and too because you've got the lighter color balls that are that are in sort of the forefront, and yeah. the darker color balls, which really makes it feel it makes three it dimensional. Yeah. It gives it some depth. Yeah, yeah which is and what some... a lot of those lack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they lack a little bit of depth and a little bit of form. And Big. the fact that it's able to distract you from these two is very <laughs> impressive. It's impressive, yeah. yeah. For oh. sure. Elmwood and, Elmwood and Pap Rockets here. Mm -hmm. This is great, great composition. I love yeah. those ones with the green too. And beautifully lit too, backlit, so you can mm. see the color zonation in there. And yeah. someone told me a theory about this. So I've, 
we've had this piece for a couple of years. It's from Arkansas, and I spoke with Cyan Ann Frazier, and you know they love quartz, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And they said, you know, this is great. This is a quartz that proves there's cleavage in in quartz. Right. And I said, oh, cool. And the interesting thing is, then I spoke with Marco Amabili, who's a good friend of mine, and he was here just yesterday, and he, we were all commenting about this piece, and he goes. You know, this is something that shows that if, you know, we, this is something that proves that quartz can be cleaved and has a cleavage plane, but you can't do it in room temperature. So he's it, like, so it, it, must it, be it, 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 it is not, it is not a, it, it's cleavage in quartz is a, is a thermal function. It is not a function of a blow or striking it along the cleavage plane. Okay, so it has so to be under it, pressure it takes, and temperature. It takes thermal pressure, okay. thermal, thermal, it takes heat and pressure to make that plane go and, and what you'll see is that the plane of the cleavage is parallel to in this case a not very well developed rom face the one that's up here on the top but uh, cleavage in quartz is always parallel to one of the romb rhombohedral faces of the termination. Huh, that's super cool. So you already knew that. I learned that yesterday. Not about the rhombohedral face though. Well, well, well now you know it before. No, I didn't know it before. That's the cool part about minerals. You always learn something. Absolutely. That's really good for Lafarge. It's an mm -hmm. old, it's old a, Lafarge. But that, that, that habit, that habit. And, and that size is impressive. Absolutely. And the striking oh. makeup of this elm wood with the golden yeah, orange tip. Those things just, are crazy because those are, are the rock is totally a floater and, and it's like it's got a crystal druze on it. So it's like these shards, you, you'd think they'd break and that stuff is super hard. Yeah. Yes. That rock is super hard. I think it's basalt. I'm not sure. Oh, is no, it it's, it's dolomite. It's dolomite. very, very fine-grained do dolomite. Dolostone. It's dolostone. been ridiculously solidified, which is why it's so, so hard. Mm -hmm. That's why it rings like a bell yeah. if you hit a if piece of this stuff. And your shoulder hurts afterwards. And the calcites don't like that. The calcites go <laughs> bing. <laughs> exactly. Uh, fuchsite phantoms in that quartz really pretty color, but usually they're kind of mushy and mm -hmm. not quite that not sharp so and well-defined. It's, it's, uh, Those came out, I guess, three, four years ago, maybe more, and they were, they were the best ones I'd seen. This was one from that group. I mm -hmm. had about two or three larger ones, but mm -hmm. they're, they were the best. That's a story rock, because that's, that's telling you something about the genesis of the deposit that it was in. I mean, you, you de develop, you developed a bunch of ore, sulfides, and then you have these big rhombohedral dolomites growing on top of it, and the siderite replaced that. So it's telling you that this thing went through multiple pulses and is it a, a long-term... Is it a pseudomorph or is it an epimorph? Well, you know, it's hard to... It, you, you, how many angels can dance on the head of a pin and, and how do you, you know, where do you drive <laughs> the golden spike? Right. It, it looks like it clearly started as an epimorph, mm -hmm. but on the other hand, if you look inside the cavity, you can see that the siderite is actually working its, it's way, way into up. the cavity. And there's yeah. two ways it could have done that. One, there could have been a shell and the siderite kept growing, or the siderite was actually replacing the calcite. It was cannibalizing the carbonate from the precursor romb rhombohedral mineral, in which case it's a re it's, it's replacement. Replacing. So, so, it's, it's, so it's, it's a combination. Well, that's not uncommon. that things start from the outside and work their way in, so an epimorph essentially morphs into a replacement pseudomorph. Got it. Cool. That pyromorphite is silly. That one there? Yeah. 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 Just all that green. That's got a lot of punch. Yep. Yeah. It's got a particularly strong color, even even of this one. You stare yeah. at this one, but when you see that one, I just noticed here standing at yeah, It's hard to tell whether it's the lighting, but that one just got that intense green that goes all the way to the bases of the crystals without any darkening. It's great. Yeah, it's an awesome piece. That no piece is insane. Yeah, that's that's in the wrong place. That needs to be across town. Across town? <laughs> is there a place? Yeah, you, there's, you have a, a, there's a place I think uh, they could, they could find a home. <laughs> find a home. There's a nice one in the vault you'll see from the uh -huh. same pocket. Mm -hmm. A really extremely fine one. Look forward to it. Yeah. And this little pyrotite and quartz is Isn't just that that's just so sweet. So uh, pyrotite is one of my favorite minerals for all kinds of complicated scientific reasons. But really? Yeah. Oh. Well, a lot of ore deposits <laughs> that <laughs> maybe make, I shouldn't ask that question. Well, no, but a, a lot of the ore deposits that make the bright, colorful 
secondary oxides that we love, okay. the pyromorphites, the wolfenites, wolfenites the mimetites, the mimetites all, that stuff, all that stuff, a lot of those are products of oxidized lead zinc silver replacement deposits. Okay. A lot of those deposits contain pyrotite. Hmm. And a lot of those deposits show a transition from pyrotite to pyrite. So you'll get those replacement pseudomorphs of pyrite after pyrite. After pyrite. And you've seen the ones that are the size of a dinner plate from Dalnagorsk. Mm -hmm. sure. Well, kinetically, and this is where it's getting scientific and boring probably to some people, <laughs> that's a very slow process. Okay. So you don't need to understand anything more than it takes a long, long time, time for that to happen. happen. So the only place it can happen is a place where the the hydrothermal event that made the ore deposit lasted a long time. Mm -hmm. So those tend to be the big deposits. Those also tend to be the deposits that make the big mines. And if and the tops of them get oxidized, there you go. And there on top go. of that, you now have material to make even cooler colored minerals. Right. Yeah. Very cool. Very nice. That came out from a pocket about three years ago. And uh, they had just a really good color and luster for nagar. You know, most of the time you think of aqua from Shigar, Shigar yeah. being the ones, but these this particular find had three or four pieces that were they were fantastic. They that look like they've got a combo. sheen to them. Yeah, they ha it they has have a, a weird. They have, like, they have tubes or something parallel, yeah, to, and exactly. so you're picking up that. Mm -hmm. It's a, what, what, it's uh, oh my, I'm getting crazy. What is what am I thinking of? Uh, not chatoyancy, but. It's when you have like fibers in what makes a cat's eye in mm -hmm. in tourmaline. Yeah. It's Ast got the same thing going yeah. on. Is, are they astera? Do they do they I are they do they have asterism? So if I, you cut them perpendicular to the C axis, would you see a star? Do I you don't know? I don't know. You don't I have a broken taken, one in the back room that, that you checked on. But if I, I'll go through my inventory. <laughs> I'll see if I have one stored away. That's a good yeah. test to do for I'm sure. I'm not sure I've ever seen a star aqua. But, I don't know that uh, I have. No. Pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go in the ballroom? Like uh, yes, the... definitely. Is that your one to uh, go to? We can it's... fight over it, but you're gonna win. Probably. No, no, you'll hmm? win because it's not from Mexico. Oh, true. So I, I, I reserve Mexico. my choice <laughs> for something that is. There's, I don't have a lot of great Mexican minerals this year. I don't think they're hard to find. I mean, other than the Milpilas, there's a few of those. But and I like this Christmas tree style, right? Or whatever kind of tree. That's fun. That's really wild. Because that's not from Etch. That's. I think it has been. It looks like it has been. No, that's it. Yeah, I think it has been. I think there was probably calcite in there and they etched out. Yeah. But it's still super cool. I have to say, the copper is remarkable. I like the copper. It's great. It reminds me of an Indian chief head with a, like a headdress on. I always see oh. that in that piece. The shadow, you actually see it. So like the mm -hmm. big crystal over there is like the face and then that's, I don't know, I've just mm -hmm. always seen it in that piece. But I love that copper. It's a great copper. Well, I would I go, for the, the would go for the Torbernite first. Uh, I mean, that color, to see one that big that's mm. still coherent and hasn't lost its color or its luster. Is, Do they uh, lose color and luster? Do you know well, <laughs> they go to metatorbernite, so they, they do actually change formula. They, you know, really? over, over time, huh. and so if they're not properly cared for, hmm. yeah, they can. They I didn't can know that. That's been around so. since the '80s. Yeah, and it's been just like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's what what is set up? I mean, it's just got exquisite geometry. Yeah, it's got great form, and then the the white setting off the yellow. That's fun. I'm gonna jump in and go for the organic almost mold or um, <laughs> mold? I won't no, I'm not going to use that in my sales pitch. Pitch. <laughs> but no I mean it, 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 it looks like, it looks Look like some kind of rock some kind of plant here. that you'd find or some kind of organism mm -hmm. that that grows with their little mouths coming off the sides like that some sort so. of variety of mushroom or, or, yeah. or coral coral that's well, coral yeah, yeah. But it, coral well, but coral usually a little bit has it's uh, oh my god yeah, the Shang Bao? The yeah. Shang Bao. Okay. okay. No, 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 well, I actually really like the fact that it makes an L. Yeah? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually like the, I actually like the fact that it's not just perfectly linear. Mm. I mean, if, it was, if it was just the three, three it, would just, it would be less. I, I, think, I think the, the, 
the one that comes off to the right just gives, gives you, you a, a okay, okay. You know, we got a bit of a left right turn here and uh, makes it more breaks it up makes it more interesting cool oh that's a really lovely mango quartz that's set up with everything with the tips all pointing in the same direction. Is that what you guys call them, mango quartzers? Yes, that is. Is that sort of become the name for them? That's my understanding. Is like that's the sort of you know you've got the kiwi calcites and you've got the mango quartzes because everyone's about fruit these days. There you go. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my kiwi understanding. Kiwi calcites. Oh, is that the super green things? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that came out this. Yeah, it's a vanadium green that gives them that. Yeah. That distinct yeah, kiwi very fruit color. color. And that's got to be one of the biggest invisible fluorites I've ever seen. Yeah, oh good old Dalmagorsk. Dalmagorsk. Yeah. yeah, you didn't see it. You, looked, you, you missed really it. Looked it. it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it really, it really is invisible. Wow. Well, that's a good start. What that's else you got? That's a good start. Yeah, I got, I got a couple other rocks, I have to say. So do we get napkins or lobster bibs <laughs> well, or something I mean, so we don't you know what? We should do that. Like next year, we should have like little like bibs and like fork and knife. That would be nice. Well, well, I mean, also, I mean, definitely going to end up drooling here. I mean, based off of yeah. what I know. Well, our experience in this room historically has been... Has been good? Yeah. Well, oh. when she was nine, you had Mark Weil here and you were digging into this... I was like, Safe. was that before the party? Was it the night it of the, the party? Night of the party it was the night of the party. And you were bringing the pieces mm -hmm. out and handing them to Mark. I had the, I had the stib night out. You had and, the stib night, you had the, the aqua, night. and then the other aqua, and the, and the born, born night. night. Mm -hmm. And you handed them to Mark, <laughs> right. and Mark was holding them, and Mark was not was comfortable like, holding them. And he was handing them to Lauren, <laughs> who was nine years old, holding these things, <laughs> rock steady, looking at them. Mm -hmm. and. There's a crowd of people in the room all going, do I get to hold it next? And, <laughs> and then you put and your goes, hand out like... And you put your hand out yeah, right this next way. to you and back in the vault. Oh great. my gosh. Yeah, that was, was a fun night. I remember that That was night. a lot of fun. Okay, here's one to Speaking start. Speaking of aqua. Speaking of aqua. Wow. Wow. That's a Medina. Really beautiful mm -hmm. one. How, now, when would that have come out? Oh, that, was, that came out probably in the 80s. Mm. Oh, wait, no. Uh... 90s, 90, early 90s. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> I love the faces on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're so gemmy, and yet there's that texture to them. That's the thing. They didn't all have a luster, and this one has the luster. This one's got great luster yeah. and beautiful little step faces, visceral faces yeah. all down the sides. Yeah, I figured out that things that have visceral faces just have better luster. It's like a thing, we've just noticed it on all mineral species. Anytime you have vicinal, vicinal faces on a crystal, somehow the luster is just popped out the wazoo. I, I don't know if there's some I think because you've got multiple planes, and so the light is bouncing off of the individual planes in a way that really catches the eye hmm. and, uh, and brings it forward. God, that thing's insane. The color, too. The color is just lovely. Cause it's not that like sky blue, it's more of like a sea foam. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is nice. Oh, is it? To say the least. So this is really unusual. The combination. The garnets, yeah, that's a great Oh, look garnet. at the, the garnets. The garnets the trapped the, right under trapped. the... And look at the helix, too. So this was a pocket uh, a year and a half ago and it was garnets and aquamarines and albites and, uh, not albites, yeah, albite. Um, and I'd never seen this before in this kind of combination with that much garnet. Mm -hmm. You know, you always get yeah. like one little yeah, garnet, one or two, two little, little garnets, ones, but, but with the dramatic cool. coverage, it's so cool. It's cool too, because you can see on the surface of this that there's obviously garnets that were on the side and have vacated the situation. Yeah. These beautiful little facets. And I like That's the ones that are sweetness. dropped in from the top, you know, yeah. if you look oh. down and you see they, they like, <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah. That's cool. Is it better with the light or without the light? Oh, it's better with the light. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Light. So then cool. would those have dropped down as it's at the end stage and that's why, and then it grows around them and just runs into something? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I mean, 
that's probably telling you that crystal grew in that direction because <laughs> otherwise they wouldn't have yeah. stuck. So you got that. Thank yeah. you, Peter. Oh my. Oh wow. Is this when I can use my Wilburism of holy cow? Mm -hmm. You can use the holy cow <laughs> Wilburism. Can, yeah, I think that would work. And this is from? Yagan Shan. Yagan Shan. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it looks with the light. I mean, the combination of the color, the that twin, good? the sparkle from the pyrite, oh. the accent of the calcite jewel. I mean, what more could you ask for? I love these two penetrant twins on the top. Oh, yeah. there's two. There's two. Well, well there's three. That's penetrant twin. Well, no, I mean, on, no, on, on this one. Oh, that's, on the that's piece, a yeah. That's a double penetrant yeah. twin. Wow. We talked about trimming it taking all of this off to focus and make that the front of the piece. But then I like it like this too. Uh, I, so we I left the, it larger. I love larger. the accent of the calcites. You do. It mm. really makes the rest of it stand out more, or at least in my opinion. Cool. Oh. Oh. Because you know the Avion bottles that have those, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. And, and, and every time I see this, I think of it and I'm like, that's like an Avion bottle. And, and also the fact that I can see the pattern of your shirt. Right, right through it. Here, hold it. Yeah, you could read a newspaper through that without any difficulty. It that has a helped. unique color, too, here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a, it's a, it's a, it's a true citrine. Almost, almost a yeah, it's a true citrine. citrine. It's a true citrine. Right. And I like that it has the cloudy aspect at the bottom, and then it goes, shoo, and it's totally clear. Oh, and especially these little veils that are coming up off the base and then fading out and then... Mm -hmm completely gemmy and it's like the whole base of the crystal it's has brazilian that. from a really unique mine that does not produce a lot of material it it's um but apparently it went big one time at least yeah <laughs> sapu sapu saya sapu kaya in and the galileo district you can see the other crystals yeah that's wild it's just super fun do you want to hold it too absolutely <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. A father only sacrifices so much for his child. <laughs> this is really strange growth up in here, though. Yeah. Do you think it was like a. Well, I'm sure it's one of those. Is some sort of twin? It's a, like it's a a, this thing, twin this thing, this thing is twinned about five different ways. Yeah. You can see a yep. twin surface coming through here. They're beautiful. The quality is just, uh, just unparalleled. For, and it's quartz, but I mean, I love quartz. I don't know if I can let Peter touch this one. <laughs> because he, he might leave <laughs> with it. With it. Uh oh. Um, this looks like a male PS. Uh huh. Like water course pocket or electric. I mean, you, you can hand it to, to, to me. Sure. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? The color on that is insane. Well, no. That's that electric blue effect at Milpias is just, it's absolutely distinctive and you just don't see it I in asteroids anyway. How else. this one, you can actually, you know, here on the side, you can see the fact that it's this thin layer of azurite on the malachite, which is mm. what gives it that. There's actually been a fair amount of discussion about why it has the electric blue effect. Oh, really? And it, it appears, from what we can tell, that these started off as, as azurite. Right. They got replaced by malachite. Right. Maintaining the, the pseudomorph, so they maintained the shape. And then you wound up with a thin shell of azurite growing over that. Mm -hmm. And there appears, in, in some of them, there appears to be a gap, very thin gap between the azurite and the malachite, and some of them actually look, and this is looking at things under high magnification, like the sheet of, uh, of azurite is actually crystallized on the malachite side as well. So what on you, both what you, sides. On both sides. So what you get is light that goes through the azurite. It's hitting a gap. Uh, it's hitting a mirror face, a gap, bouncing off the malachite and coming back through the azurite huh. through the same thing. And that and seems to be what gives color. you the electric color. What gives you the characteristic stupendous blue mm -hmm. Milpias. Yeah, this is, that color is just to die for. It set a new bar for the species. I mean, oh. you know. You're not going to get an argument from me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've been saying that since fairly early days with the font. When they started coming out. Here's one of the mango quartzes that you like. Oh, yeah. A pin cushion. Oh. That one is... Isn't that great? I just love the fact that you've got the, like, the more robust ones. And you have these little delicate needles ones that just almost Jeffrey Corey like solution mm. quartz down in between the big ones. You can't ask for much more in terms of aesthetics. No. For me, that's one of the, the great well, ones. You, you could have a big Japan law twin in the middle. True. Sure. You could have a big Japan law <laughs> twin right up here. If, if we're doing designer Let's minerals. Do that. If we're doing designer minerals. Why don't we just I'm, throw a big Bornonite behind it? Mm. Here's another. Here's another. Speak of the devil. Wow. These just crazy formed. I don't know what's going on here. I, you know, you have the the geometric side, and then you have the dissolution side. It's just, I don't know. Well, it's not just dissolution. It has to be dissolution and regrowth. Yeah, exactly. That is you wonder maybe it was growing against the wall. Or the crystal was growing and then it fell down into some kind of muck in the bottom of the pocket and the top was attacked and then it regrew, preserved the faces on the bottom. This has got just a cool sculptural it, it, aspect it, it, to it, you know? Oh, the, the, the sculptural aspect, the aesthetics it, on it, it, it's a variation on a theme that people think that they know well. Right. It, and it's then, very reminiscent of what you see in a lot of, of barrels. A yeah. Lot of the, the, especially the heliodors and things like that. Exactly. It looks like a totem pole cactus. This is... This one looks like it's going to make the yeah. grade. I think this one makes the cut. Am I allowed to say I'm gobsmacked? I guess so. I'm not <laughs> sure what that means, but... Uh, just like... like that, that's, dumbfounded? Uh, that's, yes. that's, that's, yes. that's British for being holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> it's blown away. Isn't that crazy? Where's this from? Dalnagorsk. Dalnagorsk? Mm hmm. Old Dalnagorsk. Old Dalnagorsk. Very old Dalnagorsk. Beautiful. You see this Look at super. This. There's a yeah. teal colored phantom in there. It looks like an aquarium. Mm -hmm. That is. Isn't that crazy? I think so I have officially So that would have come out in the 70s? Uh, probably 80s. 80s? 80s. Mid 80s. Mid 80s. Pelopenko collection. Mm. Okay. I, I think I have just seen my all time favorite Dalnagorsk fluorite, just to be clear. Like, that <laughs> is my favorite color. And I love the phantom. That's the super. Phantom. Can you see that? Do you yeah. get it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it better with a little light or no? Or the yeah, same? When you have it back yeah. That looks nice. This little guy up in the front, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great thing. Well, it's something that associated with anything else would not be considered the little guy. But well, and the, right. li and the little guy has a phantom in it that shows up at a really nice angle compared to this phantom. Oh, it really does. Isn't that great? Dalagor is such a cool location. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is, you know, these, they had the find of Venetianite. Uh, this past year or a the year. Really big ones? It was like a year ago, yeah. yeah. This was oh. a good one of those. And here I thought you were going to talk about the ones from San Carlos, but this is clearly <laughs> Moroccan. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's got great fire. Isn't that cool? Look at the weird hopper growth. Normally you see the hopper growth just in the faces, but here it's on the. This on, on the, the surface. prison faces so it too. Like it's one, but it's multiple. Or this one, which has got the frill around the edge and mm. throws away from that. I like this crystal. I they love all, that shape. Several of them have that. Yeah, they do. I like how the cores are more of a burgundy, and the edges are that bright persimmon mm -hmm. red, mm -hmm. orange color. Great Vanus. This is a cool mineral. Ferberite? Nope. No, it's something from Pyroxene. Is this a Hedenbergite? That's a Hedenbergite? That's a Hedenbergite. Isn't that cool for Hedenbergite? Sweden. 
Online? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which has to be. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe it's not Bong Bong. It's, uh, it's a name, and I'm forgetting it. I'll have to get it to you. But it's, uh, oh, God, it's where they all come from. And it, I feel like it begins with a B. Berischlagen. Maybe. He speaks Swedish. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. I love this little guy coming off the... Yeah, that's something else. That's something, that's something else. else. It's yeah. something that's been pseudomorphed, and mm-hmm. it's... It just it's adds rare. some great character to it, but... Very yeah. fun for, you know, not what's a common mineral. No. In it's that actually sort of well, incredibly it's common, common mineral. mineral. Yes, it's very seldom exactly. well crystallized. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of mineral specimen, it's mm-hmm. all common. Yeah. Yeah. A nice heliodor from Volodorsk. Mm-hmm. Same kind of. Yeah, the same oh, yeah, thing. it's a DT. Yeah. It's got the same vicinal faces all over it that give it the lovely luster. Yeah, that's great. One of those ones where you can't put your hand behind the crystal because it's so gemmy. Mm. Great problem to have. That's a good problem to have. We like that. You? This is a tourmaline. This needs a little bit of backlight. Thank you. I don't mm. know if you can see the color. Nice. I think that's that's definitely a watermelon. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Nice from Brazil. Saturated green cap. Mm-hmm. I love the transition between the green and the pink. There's just this line of pastel that gives the bottom part of the green almost a blue tone to it. It's really cool. Very cool. So this was what they looked like. So this is when they got the amazing one. Yeah. God. And then if we um, the, the love seeing it on the Hedenberg I'd included quartz so you can understand the the green that you, that you face, see, the Laura. green that you see in some of them. <laughs> it was it's, like uh, frozen with your mouth open. Uh, I just, you know, you see, you see quite a bit of this material, and there mm-hmm. are ones that just leave the others in the dust. Yeah. Not sure how I like it. I forget, but. I think the other direction. You liked it the other way. I have to well, that's the one that I dropped to, my jaw, so... I have to look at it. Uh, this is how I like it. Yeah. I like it like that, and then like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, just the, the contrast, too. You oh, know, it's The fact crazy. that you've got the luster contrast, the color contrast, that fluorite is... I mean, it, it's interesting, right? Like, we think of the you know, Swiss and the Alps red fluorites as being... The bar. The bar, and then China goes crazy. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, hold on, hold, hold on, on a second. Wait. And uh, that one in particular. Is inclusion? Is it this only? No, uh, it's, 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 it's Hedenbergite. It's the same mineral that we just saw in those great big crystals, but it's, it's a common mineral in, in that type of ore deposit. Mm-hmm. And it gets, it actually gets hydrated to, um, an amphibole, which turns the color just a little bit paler, a little bit whiter. So you go from the deep forest green of the clean Hedenbergite to a uh, slightly whiter green. Um, and that's, and that's, what, that's, that's what makes green quartz. And that's what does it at Seraphos, it's what does it at Nika, it's what does it in, where were, where were those scepters we got in China from? From Nepal, so same it's, thing, it's, it's, same the, it's the same kind of principle. I love how on this one, like the red is the core, but there's this rim around the edge that's totally clear. So probably why this one has such amazing luster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not, not all of them had, the, had good luster. Mm-hmm. Very few. And that one definitely has good luster. Yeah. Uh, this is a fun emerald. Josh. Completely, completely terminated? From Nigeria. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
You know what I love about these? They've got kind of a blue undertone to them, Very. which I think is chromium related. I don't know. I mean, I th thought the green in, t in emeralds was generally considered to be chromium to begin with. Yeah, I don't but know there's what some that have the green. vanadium too, which yeah, makes them true. more of the like that's the true. blue or the more of the the grass green color. Mm -hmm. That color is amazing. Have you put a black light on that? Does it go mm -hmm. red? Uh, no. You know what? I'd have to try that. Mm -hmm. hmm. And the the purple or ultraviolet laser pens okay. do that beautifully. Oh, Give really? You a brilliant red spot. Oh, really? That would run oh, right wow. along the crystal. I'll have to play with that. Okay, I guess you can have it. Yeah, I, guess I, can have it <laughs> I guess you can see it. Yeah. 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 This I'll show you next, but this one we can't have in. So, but we can look at it for fun. <laughs> Sorry, I am just I love the scepters, but the fact that they've got the inclusions that make them. Sparkle. sparkle yeah it just mm -hmm. it's Thank scintillating it's yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. the, i don't remember what the, is, is the it hopper is it coco trichite or is it is it coco trichite or is it i don't remember or is it, it could coco be hematite hopper that would be coco trichite is cuprite so it's probably not coco it's probably hematite i thought it was hematite but yeah it, look at the the, the hopper faces is amazing the combination Holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. I yeah, love it. It's, it's, That's a good one. <laughs> it's, a, it's a long gate rod, so they're probably goethite. Goethite, you think? Mm -hmm. oh. They're orange. They're funny, though. They've got, they got funny little balls at the end of the, of the elongate rods. It looks like the stuff John White's been working on off and on for years. <laughs> I can just say... <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. I love it too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. This is great. I love this. Oh, Those like calcites from there, but it's on fluorite. That's and it's got this super sparkly fluorite that it's on, which is cool. They, most of them don't come on Matrix. Mm -hmm. No. So I love that. And on top of that, I mean. This one's DT. Yeah, the juxtaposition of the crystals is really cool. And, and the fact that you can see the elongate and the cool termination. Like mm -hmm. Usually you have to pick one or the other. Yeah, you get and both. And here, yeah. you get to have your cake and eat it too. There you, there you go. Yeah. That's... Now we're back to that food analogy that we're we started doing with. the mangoes again. You know, the mangoes and bibs. People, and people can connect kiwi, to food. Kiwi, calcites, yeah, they do. True. We relate to food well. We do. That's an awesome are object. Those true sea faces, or are they really, really shallow rhombohedra? I'm not sure. Mm, but I'm not the little corners. Yeah, there are. There's a the little yeah, one there. Yeah. yeah. And a little one there. And a little one there. So. No. Oh, this is just sculptural. Just, just sculptural? Love, I love that, just because it's so fun. But the little helix in the inside, too. Isn't that great? I also really like the fact that you've got, what, one, two different types of terminations, and it's a fun specimen. Yeah. It's a really fun specimen. That's great. And this is from where? Shigar. Shigar? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amazing it survived as a specimen instead of being chopped up for gem rough. Yeah, it's super fun. Yeah, that's a great the sculptural thing. aspect is mm -hmm. gotcha. And then speaking of ilvites, this was one of the great ones. The luster oh, of yeah. this is just stupendous. The luster on that is yeah insane. When you and compare them, especially in like with with the the quartz accent. And the quartz is nice. The needle quartz, yeah. Yeah, it's again actually with nice. the Hedenbergite. The Hedenbergite inclusion, yeah. But I mean, just the way that it wraps around the ilvite makes it look 
so much more impressive. Yeah, it's a great thing. There were three or four of these that were fantastic. That was one of them. Mm -hmm. Scarns can do wonderful things. Mm -hmm. Did I just get technical again on you? No. Okay. No, that was good. No, this was me agreeing with you that oh, okay. they can do incredible things. And meanwhile, waiting for you to pass it over here. Ah, so. Okay. <laughs> so I can enjoy so it. So you're just making idle conversation and say, give me, give me the rock, Dad. Give okay. me the rock, Dad. <laughs> Hand it over. That nice balance, mm -hmm. just with the Gwindle and the... And, and the fact that they're both pointing in like this mm -hmm. really there draws you your eye. And the little guy in the back that you can see through it. And it has a contrast on the matrix and everything. Mm -hmm. I love that. And all the crystals are so sharp and gemmy. And that must have made some strollers day when he found Oh, yeah. That. Can you imagine? Oh. You know, the thing that always impresses me with the strollers is they find them way up there, which is impressive in and of itself. But then they have to pack them well enough that they can and get, get them, them down. down. Yeah. Because because the places that they're collecting are places that are like known difficult recreational climbing routes. Oh yeah. So they're I mean it, it, it's one of the reasons why these are. And some of them so are impressive. not, you know, climbing routes. They no, they make their own. Made, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and what's interesting <clears throat> about this piece is it almost has, and, and maybe it's the lighting here, but. It almost has like a purple undertone to mm. the smokiness that just. They have like a lavender hint to them. Yeah. yeah. It's only Swiss quartz that do that, really. I've never seen that from anywhere else. Mm -hmm. With that hint of color. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's one of the reasons that really sets them apart. Mm. I agree. I mean, that and they do the Gwendolyn's and all that. That too. Oh. So. But they're really cool. Here, just put your hand yeah. under, and then you're good. But for Wolfenite, for there, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's remarkably orange for there. It's, usually, it's yeah. orange. usually you they're see red, deep, deep red. Jemmy, the contrast. I don't know which color light looks better. Okay. Or just that. Yeah. Brian's just light the, looks the, pretty your good. light. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, Wolf and I love her. Mm -hmm. Let's add it to I kind of like how there's like the, the big crystal bunch is on one side. It's funny the way it goes from thin window panes to thick crystals on top that are slightly sandwiched. Interesting, you even see like the little window panes over here on the left side. Mm -hmm. it's the yeah, it sort of goes from looking like San Francisco to looking like Tiger to uh, looking, looking like, like its own place. Or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, it's really cool when you like have something that is both aesthetically brilliant and scientifically really interesting at the same time. Strange matrix. It's a little uh, like zoning on the outside of the the crystals down here where they get mm -hmm. more yellow. There's this rim mm -hmm. of the darker red. Yeah, some of them almost hinting like if they got a chance they'd do red dots like the 79. There's some other varieties from here. The crystal habit is so strange. It's like they're cubic and then truncated and like the ends are cut off. I, it's, I'd have to show you some other examples. I think Go right ahead. This has luster. For days. For days. Mm -hmm. And days and days. And it has and color. And color. I guess, is it looking good? Isn't that great? And the two little babies coming off the side. Wow. That's a special tourmaline. And from where? Ariconga which is near to Cruzeiro and Pedinera. Mm, okay. It's in the same belt. Just such a rich color, I love that. And then competing. It's competing with something? It's competing with this. This fluorite. 
has like the goofiest color. I don't know if it comes out on the it's camera. It's like grass green. Yeah, it's With like, like, like it's like a seafoam green core, grass green, light blue, and then purple. Yeah, you got it. Isn't that amazing? And the luster is just <laughs> staggering. And and just that adorable quartz accent yeah, on the one, one side. It needed and, one little quartz. And it's interesting because here on this one, you've actually got a corner that's the purple. Mm-hmm. Just the corner. Yagan-chan? Yagan-chan. Mm -hmm. When, when yeah, you can tell from the, oh, yeah. the matrix on the Actually, sides, you see turning little arsenopyrites. Little, yeah, right in through here. Shine the light right there. Back in there. There's, the, there's, there's the grass there's, green. There's the color right there. There's the grass green that you're talking about. Coming it's, through it's beautifully. It's really interesting, because I mean, obviously it's a thin zone, but which one is it coming off of? I don't know. No, I guess it's off of all of them, but because these group together, it gets really dark here. Isn't that pretty? That is. That is. You should like that. I do. Yep. Already. Uh -huh. That is mine. <laughs> <laughs> What's nice about it is most of the times they, they develop a crack or something in the Born and Night, and this mm -hmm. is really, truly just perfect. Yeah, even with that, that one single crystal of the quartz coming out the, the middle there. Mm -hmm. And you got the calcopyrites oh, and the quartz. And, and, and and you've got luster like you very seldom yeah. see on Born and Night. Pretty sure I could do my makeup using that crystal. Probably. Like you could pull it's, that it's, off. It's I, that could, I could probably do mine, too. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it is it is that near finish. Oh, thank you. <laughs> God. That's awesome. I love that Born and Night. What's the one? Yeah, Yeah, Gun Shan. Same as the fluorite that we just looked at. You yeah. know what's crazy is how deep in the mine these things come from. Um, did you go under there? Or did you guys go no, in there? No, I, I didn't have that opportunity. But you know, I was talking to one of the miners, and mm -hmm. they they come from like twelve hundred meters deep. Really? And a thousand meters in, and that's where the boring nights come from. And the good ones, they have to use, like hike out themselves. Wow. Um, I didn't know that. I didn't know it was so deep. Yeah, these come from like deep, which which honestly kind of increases the value in some ways because people have worked so hard mm -hmm. to get these, and obviously they understand the. Well, you look at so many of them that are not right. Yeah. There's something wrong. This mm -hmm. doesn't have the luster or something like that. And then you look at something like that, and you're like, wow. It's got everything you want. It's got everything yeah. you want. And this is interesting because we commented earlier about those fluorites, and this one just has. You know, the deep saturation of color, which, you know, most of the time you don't see from this pocket. You saw most of the smaller, clearer yeah. ones, mm -hmm. but this has a big crystal size for there. And, and it's really nice how it's perched up at the top. Yeah. Kind of the, the culmination of it all. What is the inclusion on any of these? I don't know, honestly. The phantom in that's actually very well defined. They look good. Which inclusions? The the fibrous inclusions. They're you see them better in the small ones where they're not uh, as good color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Let me see. I think it's you know it, it makes like a. It yeah. it kind of adds to the the saturation of the green because it. Turning into something. But they're still so. Down the gorge had something like that, and these clear ones. A long time ago that I, I remember seeing and they look like a, a ice cube inside an ice cube do you know what i mean it was mm. like white phantom that was similar to these inside than a clear cube i don't know if you can get that brian but if you look right down that face you can just see the the stacked does that help phantom zoning in that crystal and then you've got the brush down in the middle this is a really nice gold mm. from the eagle's nest. There you go. It's got our clutch mount on there. Where are you? Lots of crystals. Nice crystals, great luster. 
really nice too that it's got like the uh, there's the gaps within there that kind of give mm -hmm. it more give it some shape yeah gives it a little airiness mm -hmm. it looks ethereal good word i like that descriptor it's substantially heavier oh than most gosh. things that you think of as being ethereal <laughs> yeah <ever>. that's true <laughs> gold so it's definitely got it's really interesting because you see these delicate little almost wire like you know little sheets that is Beautiful, that is a special right? thing oh oh wow isn't that cool also a starburst so this is more like a crushing wave. That must be so heavy. It's quite heavy. Get these little guys under like here. The furriness. Yeah. Aspects. This one's the. And the contrast between the colorless Oof. early stage and then the blue came in and then the blue faded out in the very final stages. With the yeah, and I love this. Yeah. Sculptural aspect of it over here the on this specimen side. Specimen has the same kind of feel that like a great waterfall does, where there's something truly powerful about sort of the way that it's shaped and the way that you know everything's kind of chaos, and yet at the same time it all works together because it's all kind of coming in this way, and then the color. Yeah, the I color. love that. Looks like the wipe, color is great. wiping out on a surfboard in a Caribbean, <laughs> in a Caribbean colored water and just. Yeah, and this is so cool that this first generation, you were pointing that out a minute yeah. ago, right? Yeah. But you can well, actually see it's really not the first generation, generation because here's here's blue here, and then yeah. there's the colorless stage, and then the, then the blue stage comes back again. I really dig this, this yeah. shape right here. This, this yeah. flaring group of, of elongate crystals. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's great at Ragonite. Yeah. And, and the deep blue at the center makes mm -hmm. all of the sort of lighter colored tips. I mean, just it has the, it has all the elements that you could want mm -hmm. in a specimen like this. Except gold. Wow. It doesn't have gold. <laughs> We've been yeah. over the fact well, that we are Well, you're talking we about elements, and I'm oh, being a little, oh. I'm being a little overly scientific <laughs> here. Like you said, <laughs> all the <laughs> elements that you could want. Well, you know, it's got <laughs> copper, it's got calcium. Doesn't, doesn't have a little doesn't gold. Have any gold. No, I was, I, was, I was thinking more of like, I thought we weren't allowed to do like imaginary, like, you know, designer mineral specimens. Why do we right? have to with the stuff he's bringing? I know. <laughs> That's why I was confused why you were bringing in the gold element. There's, there's no need for that. Well, that's the show. You guys happy? Very, very. Are we happy? Uh, Thank you. Thank you, Daniel, very Thank much. You. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.